Hello, Class here. It'll do too. In the last parts, I think I got the dynamite or something. And then, like, explored the top right of the map. And did I find a dungeon or something? Is that what we're doing now? The potassium mine? Uh, falling into bottomless pits will result in a salary deduction. Got it. Oh, I <laughs> missed the, the door. Alright, so that's some sort of shortcut back. Whoa. Oh, I kind of thought that when he ran over the dynamite it would explode for some reason. I think he's just invulnerable. Oh, that does not stay awake very long. Nor does that. Hmm. That might be doable if you position the things right. However, it's possible to beat this dungeon without coming in with the dynamite, presumably. The wobbly monsters cannot be hurt. Must find a way to freeze them solid. So if I could get something icy on the switch on the right there, which I don't think there's a walking path to. I don't see a reason to go that way and brave the saws. Ow. I don't have a key yet. I still don't have a key. Alright, but we can take advantage of airport sidewalks. Oh, they probably die if you put a block in front of them. Was there an enemy like this in the first game? Got him! Alright, beware of bottomless pits. Oh. Some if I didn't feel them staring at me. What? I don't get how that makes sense for bananas. Ah, a key. We can unlock that. Oh, another key. Easy game. It just gives you keys. Alright, what have we got? We've got ice blocks, we've got doors. Wait a minute. Oh, I bet. Okay. I was gonna say, there are only two ice blocks, and with me, that's three. And so you can't possibly push all the switches at once, but each door reacts to two switches. Okay, frozen blocks will slide over spikes. So let's try to work on the top door first. If I... If I push anything to the right, it's game over, basically. Well, I could put... No, I don't know. Actually, I'm not sure how to really start on either door. I mean, if I push one of these right, I can push the other down, but that doesn't help. If I push this one right, I can push the other up, but that doesn't help. I only need to get one block on one switch, though. No, this doesn't help anyone. Okay. Maybe I need to come back with something? Like, the dungeon item? Because I don't see how this helps me either. If I push it left or right. Alright, let, let's, let's walk around. Maybe I'll realize the solution while I'm exploring. Oh yeah, wobbly enemies can't be hurt. Must find a way to freeze them. Also, apparently I got attack down status just by hitting one. And this did not escape my notice. Beware of loose rocks. Okay. Oh, there's a treasure. Probably filled with goodies. Box of crayons. And free 
Mystery Key. I'll take it. Oh, this is where I got by solving the one puzzle early. Interesting. <laughs> anyway, I'm backtracking to the warp for some reason. I feel like there were more doors around there. Oh yeah, to the right here. What's this? It's the starting room! Okay. In conclusion, we have to solve that ice block puzzle. Right? Yeah. Unless there's a puzzle to the north that I neglected from this room. Oh yeah, I... Wait. Yeah, over here. I didn't really see anything meaningful to do here. Because clearly you need a block. And I don't know of any blocks around here. Yeah, I doubt dynamite can push down switches. Although it is interesting that the dynamite can be moved with the force wand. I didn't know that until I tried that just then. Alright, this room. Uh, oh, wait a minute. Uh, that, that expects... I, know, I was realizing I could push things to the left with the force wand. Actually, did that just... Okay, I wasn't sure if it would slide after the hop. I had to know. So, I mean, I can do this. Or, or this, or whatever. But this room should be solvable without the force wand. Because we didn't get it in this dungeon. So I, I'm really curious about that solution. And... I mean, if we could just get two blocks stacked up. Okay, so I have a solution that uses the force wand. If you just do this, then you can push this down, this right, this down, this right, and then push it down and you know, do that. Uh, let's reset the room. Could I have accomplished the same thing by pushing a block to the right at first? No, not really. Not even if it was this block. Right down, right down. Yeah, that doesn't get me anywhere. I mean, maybe it's even the north door you're supposed to do first, normally. So let's see. What other possible moves are there from the start? I mean, I can push this right or I can push this right. I don't see any other move. Which really indicates to me that it's this door you want to do first. Because just pushing one block up isn't going to do much. Okay, yeah, I see. Then you push it up, then you push it right, then you push it down, and it goes on this switch. Alright. I'm satisfied. Keep mining, ignore the screams. Oh, right. The fast bullet. Uh, so, uh, yeah, running into your enemies and mashing the attack button is the best way to fight. I mean, look, I'm barely missing any health. Probably because they dropped, like, a blue heart or something. Oh, these blocks. Uh, I like the idea of pushing this either left or right first. I don't think it matters which direction. One, two, three. Okay, these two blocks at the bottom can't go on these two blocks at the top, can they? Barely too far away. Yeah, because 
they explode at the moment. Alright, so maybe... Oh... On to... Yeah. So you do this so you can get by. And then the puzzle's easy from there. Got it. of taking advantage of the uh, third-person camera. Banana veins are still rich enough to be worth it. This magic ring we found in this chest, we can fend off those monsters and continue digging. Got the ice ring, which kills enemies and creates reflective magic blocks. That's uh, right. It's on the B button. So now I can make blocks. Oh, and they can be destroyed even without the fire sword. Cool. So, I mean, let's see, does it slide too? Okay, it slides like a real ice block. Anyway, let's investigate this up here. I didn't miss it. <laughs> okay, we don't want to know why there's a struggling banana in the wall. And there are types of items on the island. There are more types of items on the island than the ones found in the dungeons. Yeah, like amulets and a book of not getting status effects or something, right? It was a book. Yep. Tome that tells you how to not get status effects. All oh, right, I can like murder this thing now, can't I? Got him. All right. Wow! I can't believe I solved that incredibly difficult crystal puzzle. All right, so. You die. You die. <laughs> I just felt like killing them. So we could open this up and, um... I don't know the point of that. Maybe it's in case you, um... Got an ice rod from somewhere other than this dungeon. Because I believe there are three copies of each item. And it upgrades when you get more of them. Oh! destroyed my block. I'm wondering if I can push the block into them to have a similar effect to hitting them with the rod directly. No, I think I really need to just hit them with the rod. Wow, they're all spiky. Maybe I should wait for that status to wear off. How long do status effects last in this game, anyway? So I have a key, I can go upright, but I might as well finish off this combat room. I wonder if the chain gives me extra range with my melee attack on this ice rod. Got him. Okay, what have we got? Oh, and we got the easiest puzzle in the world again. Ice ring blocks can be cut diagonally. I mean, sure. How does that help? Oh! Have I heard about this somehow? should block diagonally if it's cut diagonally. I don't know where I got that idea from. Stuck? Try the ice ring again. Oh, wait, I could have gone up. I, yeah. We need to reset the room. I see what needs done. I'm guessing that like in the first game, yeah, you can freeze a block. It's interesting that the ice item now actually makes a block. You used to need the portal wand for that, and then you would freeze the portal wand block if you needed a frozen block. Placing volcanoes into minecarts is not an amusing prank. Failure to cease this activity will result in further angry notes. 
Alright, so now I have two keys. I didn't use a lockpick this dungeon, did I? I think I came in with six. Oh, I need another key here. That makes sense. I don't need these dead. Goodbye. <laughs> Alright, what have we got? Some kind of boss battle? It reminds me of an angry bird with the bird robot and the red guy. Anyway, we meet again. Yep. Oh, it's revenge, final battle. Not necessarily because you'll win, but because your contract is running out. Sure. Uh, such regard for your grim and serious quest of vengeance. If you're trying to look serious, maybe you should do something about the bird robot. And now let's not make fun of Duck Lord over here. And he's all like foreign words that may have been made up. Told you it's the uniform. Ion Claw, go! Whoa! Oh, I can't attack. That must be what the X means. Is the Ice Rod, like, effective? I think it deals more than the stick, anyway. Oh, he's all dizzy! I should have taken the opportunity to deal tons of damage. Oops. Uh -oh. oh. I thought that would kill him. Okay. Got him. <laughs> that was close. Yeah, yeah. Goodbye. Got the fifth raft piece. Collect them all. I wonder what dungeon number that was. But anyway, our map was blinking, so I hit the map button. I guess we'll go to the recommended place. Oops, I should have probably hit up the health thing first, because this meadow doesn't have a health thing. Whatever, if the next dungeon's there, I'll get my health there, because there's always a health thing at a dungeon. I haven't done this cave. I guess I should explore around a bit before heading there. Oh, you're magical. I got an outfit. But, um, yeah, I probably don't want to do the dungeon this episode. We already did a dungeon this episode. Why am I fighting all these guys? Got them. Um... So yeah, I shouldn't head right there. I should do all these little cave adventures. Hmm. I wonder if I... Okay, I can't destroy it if I make it ice. That may have ruined the puzzle. Oh, because... Somehow I never realized that stepping on buttons out of order actually made them reset. Wait a minute, isn't this like easy? You just leave the block there and then you do that? Because I realized somehow that you could hit buttons more than once as long as you didn't hit one that wasn't supposed to be hit yet. I guess I've probably just walked over buttons extra times before. I think I am gonna go towards the dungeon just for the healing point. Oh hey, there's also a warp point, that's convenient. Cave of trash, beware of rot nips. Alright, oh, is there anything more to the south? Got, we got enemies. Bye. You've got a different perspective. Okay, real life adventure. Here's your hint. Look for things that seem out of place in the frozen court. I didn't notice anything in the ice area that seemed out of place, but good to know. East frozen court, beware the Slayer, Jenny. Let's look around there. Oh, 
That was a long bridge. Alright, well, looks out of place. Well, Slayer Jenny. No, actually she doesn't. She's got a parka and everything. Okay, that's already checked off. I don't know. I don't know. Oops. Um, yeah, just, it was marked off on the map. Oop. Need to backtrack over the... Wow. And I'm dead. Oh, we're all the way back here. Yeah, I gotta take the long trek over and Stomp on some stones randomly. Oh wait, no, there it's still open. Okay, let's like do this better. <laughs> ah, mostly easy. I took one hit. <laughs> A somewhat sarcastic easy. Meet again! Still haven't found any optional hidden caves, so you tried swimming to this island, but now you're stuck, there's no way back. There certainly isn't an optional hidden cave right there. Also that... Oh, okay, this is maybe the optional one. I guess they're both optional. Hey, it's a portal. These always lead to good prizes. Lost City of Avalop. Whoa, hi. I, I'm hoping I didn't need to... Yeah, I don't need to kill them. Well, was there... No, I don't think there's anything behind that gate thing. Oh, these I need to kill, though. Are they... moving around in addition to... popping in and out? Ow. Oh yeah, I have a ranged attack. Do their projectiles home? That seems weird to me for some reason. Like, if, if you're not a missile, what business do you have homing? Alright, so uh, we'll need to play better. I, I think that'll be the plan. Play better. Also use this ranged attack thing more, and um, don't go over to the left first, because we have this nice safe area. Well, relatively safe. Where we only have to fight one at a time. And if we work our way over gradually, presumably we can eliminate the competition. Oops. Should have rolled at the projectile. Or just stood my ground and kept shooting these things. How much health do they have? Maybe I need to freeze them. Maybe that's the problem. Except, wait, you can do every hidden cave with the stick. So, it's not they're, they're immune to everything besides freezing, for sure. Okay, one of them is killed. Two of them are killed. I thought they just had a lot of health, but I guess I was mixing the two up and... You know, dealing damage to both of them. So I'm pretty pleased that I don't have the defense down status yet. Alright. It's just like, what, one more? Two more? Two more. I think I'll take cover behind this one by two. the slam attack is that dodgeable? Well, I guess you could, uh, roll it. I feel like this room would be incredibly hard with just the stick. But we're getting it. Even if I die later in this dungeon, the, uh, enemy gate will remain down. 
Assuming it behaves like every other enemy gate in the game. Oh, but we got our prize. Got a chain level two. It further extends our melee weapon reach. Nice. And of course, if you didn't have the other chain, that would have been chain level one, which would have still let you hit the switch. Oh wait, let's take the safety path. Although I kind of want to die to refill my health. But there are other ways of refilling health. Like uh, this thing here. Hmm. I don't know where I want to go now. We got a bunch of checked off stuff in the snow area. Maybe let's just head to the next dungeon and save there. Oh wait, there's a warp thing. Alright, trash cave. There is trash in this cave. Thought the dungeon smelled bad enough on the outside. Oh, it's just it all hasn't bathed since they fell in that pond a while ago. And there's a rot nip. Oh, intruders come to steal the garbage. Submerge. Okay, well I was gonna steal some, but now it would be awkward. Trash cave. Gonna light some things on fire. Except I'm not doing the dungeon this episode, I'm just solving that apparently. Stick can be set on fire. Good tip. Maybe someday I'll figure that out. <laughs> anyway. Uh, that's it for this part, except I want to check what dungeon number that fire dungeon was. So it's like not quite over. Six. Okay. I guess it couldn't have been eight. Because <laughs> somewhere in the game they told us that eight was last. But we have all the major items, besides whatever is in the lower right. Well, I guess that's not a major item. I'm considering the stick, the ice ring, the, the whole top row of usable things. Anyway, that's it for this part. See ya!